Hey, Mom. Hey, babe. Um, hey, everybody. So I'm Haley Rantia, and I just released my brand new song, Made for This, through Radio Disney Country. And I'm Thank gonna... you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. And I'm going to be interviewing my mom um, because I wrote this song for her. Uh, so, Mom, what was I like as a child growing up? You were funny, and you liked to make people laugh. So when you were very young, you would do something or make a noise or a facial expression until you got a laugh. And as soon as you got a laugh, you would keep going to make the laughter keep going. So you sort of knew from an early age that that reinforcement just created more. That comedy was my thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, are there any like specifically funny stories that you remember? Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, I was I was thinking about a couple of them. We used to have this little towel, those terry cloth towels that had a hood on them. Yeah. And this one was uh, a frog. So the head of it, you know, was the frog ears and the eyes. And there was that little um, cartoon. I forget what it was. Maybe it was from a Bugs Bunny cartoon or something. And it was the frog that would wear the top hat. And when the guy wasn't looking, he would go, hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> you would do that on the brick fireplace. You would stand on the hearth and do that back and forth. And you were probably three, maybe three and a half. Sometimes. Sounds about yeah. right. Yeah. I, one example of many. I remember that, that quite a bit, actually. I loved that cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Uh, were there any like funny quirks that I had that maybe I've kept? You had a pacifier way longer than we wanted you to. That's embarrassing. That was a struggle. And you didn't like to eat food. For the record, before we move on, I don't still have the pacifier. Because <laughs> I said any quirks that maybe I still have. I don't do that, but continue. Um that you still have. Maybe I don't. Hopefully all the weird ones went away, but I have a feeling they didn't. I don't know. I mean, you- Oh, I do this thing. I don't know if I, did I do this thing when I was really little, when I like bite the inside of my chin? Yeah, well, nervous. not as much as you do now. It was more middle school, high school that you maybe You found that. Yeah, I don't know what you that's about. You found that. <laughs> what that's about. <laughs> um, okay, this, I'm putting you on the spot with this one. What do you love about being my mother? Mm. Well, people say all the time, I can't believe your daughter is famous. And then that crazy to see her on TV and you know, all that. And it is, it's unbelievable, but I am most proud of just your heart and what a humble, normal person you are. And that for you, it's, you know, it's just a job. It's not like you're a big deal. <laughs> So I really, I admire that probably the most about you is your heart and your humbleness. Thank you. Well, you know where I get it from. You. <laughs> that was my point. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, is that her dad? No. <laughs> um, okay. So I wrote this song for you. I, what was it like maybe almost two years ago? That's yeah. crazy. Um, yeah. So I wrote this song for you like two years ago and I wanted to have dad film you when uh, you listened to it and he did. Uh, but, and I know what your reaction was because I watched it, but yeah. how would you describe listening? Well, you've made a big deal out of it. Like as soon as mom gets home, <laughs> I want to play this song for her, but I want you to have her on FaceTime, film her while she's listening to it. I'm like, what in the heck? So you made like this big deal. <laughs> so at the beginning of the video, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> something magic, you know, and I just, just, it's unbelievable. And it's so, uh, Were you that expecting was, that? No, no. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting. And you know how the phrase has so much meaning for us, you know, and, um, and just that time was so uh well and it's so hard when your kids are struggling with something and now that i listen to the song for me i hear so many different layers to it and how many people it could apply to you know i think about 
moms whose kids are going to the military or someone who's struggling with a, um, you know, a life uh, health issue, you know, some serious cancer, like a child that has cancer, or even someone who, you know, is off the path that they're meant to be on and struggling, you know, and, and how it's just about strength and, you know, it's just, so it's a very moving song and it just means the world to me that you would actually put to words something like that, that for us is going to be a legacy that it's just such a gift. It really is. Do you miss your mom? Uh, unbelievably. Yeah. 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 I can't wait for people to see the video because there's little, little nods. Yep. Little nods in there. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up with a lot of, female figures in my life sure. many many aunts that I, estrogen. yeah a lot of estrogen in there yeah <laughs> but but all good all good things and so it was cool to have that many um strong women in my life yeah yeah exactly um i'm trying to think if there's anything else i can ask you what would you say is a favorite memory that you and i have made together course, favorite memory of yours there's a lot. <laughs> there, there really are a lot. I think one of the ones that I think was recent and really special for me was um, actually two. So when you recorded your song, Strong, Sweet, and Southern, and we needed vocals, you needed background vocals. Yep. And Kevin Kadish, who was producing it, said, you know, why don't you get in there and do gang vocals <laughs> with her? That was so much fun. Well, I had also never done gang vocals before. And so we like had no idea what we were doing. And he's yeah, like, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. But it was so fun. It was really fun. So that was cool. And then the other moment was when you opened for Brad Paisley. And just, that was like the biggest, that's probably the biggest performance in terms of numbers that you've ever done. And I remember, yeah. you know, we've been with you since you were singing at the pumpkin festival to five people, three of which were your family members, you know, and to be able to see you on that stage opening for 7,000 people. And it was just, and you were just in your element. And that is my heart grew three sizes too big. It well, awesome. it's funny because both of those moments are in the music video too. We have both of those on video. Oh, they are. Yeah, the are. gang vocals right. and the Brad Paisley moment. Yeah. I would say one uh, one moment that we don't have on camera, which thank the Lord, because it was <laughs> not one I needed on camera, was uh, a memory um, I won't forget was X Factor. I was just going to say that when you told me that. Um, we, we were boot camp on X Factor, and it was a day that was very difficult. They The producers had woke us up like, I want to say this was the day that it was very little sleep and we had to perform a song by ourselves in at this point in front of an audience of 3,000 people when before and they were narrowing down this right so this was like yeah. the last day of boot camp yeah yeah and everyone had gone on stage and due to lack of sleep and hunger everyone forgot their words well and the other thing was they kept pushing you so you were supposed to be in that group and then they it was yeah it was yeah so like the schedule's you. just everywhere oh. and, and the anxiety stayed the whole day and i told you i was just gonna leave i'm not going on stage i'm gonna forget the lyrics i refuse <laughs> to put myself in that position when everyone has forgotten the lyrics and you looked at me and you said you are a ninja and you are gonna go out there and you're gonna nail it and I went out there and I forgot, I think, one word, but otherwise I kept going. And I, that was a moment for sure when I think you stepped in and you were like, I am Mama Bear, but you are my cub. Well, no, now let's be fair. You're making it sound like I'm like a stage mom. Like, no, 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 no. no. You, were, you, you gave me the confidence because I was like having a panic attack and like ready to go. And you, you. No, so my point to your... you was, yeah, my point to you was we can go. You know, they're going to capture all that on camera because they're going to want to use it. Right. you know how the show was um but but and i'll go with you and i'll try to sh sh shield you from all that but you got this yeah my goal was to make you laugh and kind of get you out of your head because you were that was definitely a i am not afraid impressive. i was made for this moment I yeah think. yeah i think if you look back over your life there are like i believe five or six pivotal moments in someone's life that kind of 
frames who they are and shapes them. And that's going to be one for you because it's going to prove to you that you can get through anything for sure. Um, what does being a mother mean to you? Mm. Well, I don't think it has to be birth, obviously, you know, like you don't have to have given birth to someone. I think it's just taking care, caring for and being concerned about and nurturing and supporting someone through tough times and through positive times and, um, you know, being selfless, I guess, because most moms would give anything for their kids. I know I would for you. Well, I love you and happy Mother's Day. And I'm so glad I that this song you. is out in the world. I wish I could be with you and thank you so much. This gift, I can't, this, it, there's no value I can put on it. It means the world to me. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Bye, baby. Bye. All right, you guys, check out my song made for this playing right now on Radio Disney Country. <laughs>